why I can't have nice paint jobs. Right, so this is time beautifully. Sun's just on its last ebbs now. I uh, just pulled into camp and I can't tell whether someone's been in again or more than likely we've had intense winds and the shelter's just given up. So that's going to be uh, 20 minutes work for me. But This is my favourite bit before anyone else comes. Listen. Before I forget, shout out to uh, Big Boy Frankie in um, uh, Boston. Got you. <laughs> Looks like the islets have just give. Also, while I'm in the whole typing thing, where are you from? The analytics show me channels, bits and pieces like that of, of that the, the say roughly what part of the world you're from. But give us a comment down below on your country and region that you're in, because I know a year or so ago it was mainly UK. Then the next biggest one was Australia than New Zealand and the US with a few other countries dotted about but I've noticed more and more Americans are on board since I did the birthday weekend with the thumbnail with the AR-15 so yeah how many Americans are on that of interest because you like you guys like your your proper bugging out and stuff and you've got a bit more space haven't you so yeah be interesting also I've got a few YouTubers coming this weekend with smaller channels if you've got a YouTube channel and you've been following for a while put you obviously don't put the link because it'll flag it as spam and it won't come up but tell me below what your channel is and I can have a little look because when people comment I see the thumbnail and the comment and that's usually as far as I go unless someone comments a lot of times so if you've got a channel put it below Everybody else can see it below, and I can have a nosy as well, so it's nice to, to see who's watching, isn't it? Bit of an experiment, a bit of a collaboration as well here between YouTubers. So, thank you for everyone that uh, had a look at the Wessex Blade knife in the last video, saw it in action, and got in touch with Scott, went over to his channel. Uh, another one is Mr Scooty. I've had this ages, if you can see the condition of this. Uh, I've not been used for a while, so this is a perfect excuse. So let's see. I know he's put a ferro rod on here, but that is actually pretty. And I'm only interested in uh, abusing this at the minute. This is my, uh, he has got a really nice name for it, but I call it the hog knife, because it's like a hog hunting knife. And this is still... Hello. Sorry about that. That is woodland security. Someone heard a vehicle coming down there and I get a phone call. You can't beat that, can you? So, as I was saying, yeah, one of Mr. Scooties, so we're gonna say, let's get a clean. Ooh. I almost feel bad about doing that there. But this is what it's for. 
and there will be slight heating oil. So, let That always looks quite brutal, doesn't it? Tell you what, this has had two big camps and everybody has took it in turns to hack at trees and abuse this as well as cooking things like that. The other night, I got my leather strap and I went up and down on my leather strap for three, four minutes. Let's see if we can find some. Focus. DSLRs. Straight back to shaving sharp. That's, I mean, I've got good knives. And you abuse them, the sharp, the tough, but then you gotta sharpen them, and sharpen them, sharpen them. This I'm impressed with. So, Scott, you have got a repeat customer. <laughs> I'm having another one. This is what I call bang water. Make a cat go woof. You've got to be quick with this. <laughs> so the petrol lights it instantly because that is combustible. But petrol is horrendous for fire lighting. Whereas heating oil and diesel is a lot slower burn, so that will get the wood going because of the heat. Next little job, before it gets dark, I'm just thinking for first light when people need it, is I've never really bothered with a camp toilet so much. I'm not one for digging holes because that's alright when you're on your own, but when you go to a location time and time and time again, and there's multiple people doing it, there's a good chance when you want to dig a hole, you're going to find something you don't want to find. Because um, it doesn't disappear quickly, does it? Especially the paper if you don't burn it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I've, I've just got a couple of pallets over there with a notch out. Not too graphic, but I take a bin bag with me. Everything goes in the bin bag, gets tied up, put into a, a bigger bin bag. And then over the weekend, all the small bin bags go in the big one. It gets tied to the back door of my Land Rover on the way home and gets put in a bin en route. Um, but what I'm going to do, because there's some people that want a bit more privacy, and it was raining last time so it wasn't over nice, uh, over on that section over there, I'm going to put a tarp up, bungee it up, and give a bit of covered area just in case it rains. So there we go, that's a little lean to, so I'll go get my pallets and stick them under there. That's not a big walk from camp, far enough away but close enough at the same time. And just keeping this topped up, get that wood dried out, and then we've got a good base for everyone just to uh, come and stick the stuff on and make some tea. If anyone was wondering what uh, what the floppy hair is about, because I've never had long hair in my life. Uh, I'm growing it to uh, for a charity thing. Um, turns out that you can grow your hair, they, they cut it off, and they turn it into wigs for kids that have had cancer. So that's that's the idea behind it, because I've got a little girl, she'd be, she'd be devastated if she lost her hair or anything like that. So, And these, um, they give them like synthetic wigs and stuff, which they're not that, that good. Um, but if you can get like a, a good human hair one, the mega money. So the idea is um, I'm going to whip this off, put a bit of money towards it and get one made up for someone. So if everyone's laughing about the girly hair, that's, <laughs> that, that's what it's about. <laughs> right, so before I sit down and get comfortable, uh, losing light now. Uh, so I've got an old battery. Uh, it's just an old 17 amp power that's failed an in inspection. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the edge of these, ooh, someone's already damaged it, take these leads off and we've got a few lights out of a sign. I'm going to attach them to there, we'll have light.
So what we can do is we can stick some female ends on here, some male ends on here, jobs of fish. Tell you what, I mean I'm quite warm at the minute because I've been humping stuff around but you can tell it's a cold one because uh, the old beards are getting wet. So I'm going to take it that the red line is a positive. Twist that one. Twist that together, get a nice connection. Female, we want a male on this one. Tell you what, if you can't knock stuff up at the woods, there's something wrong with you. So what I'm doing now, if you can't tell with the insanely bright light because it's dark in the woods, um, I'm finally getting around to loading this up. Um, I usually use the shoe tidy things, you know, off the, the back of the door, which are awesome. But I've gone through quite a few of these now. The, um, the stitching gives up. It's only light duty, cheap Chinese stuff, but it's all right for what the money is. I mean, these are, these are like five, 10 quid and they last a few months, but I've gone through a few of these now. So instead I've just got the proper quality camp cover ones. Um, these are proper ripstop, ripstop canvas with see-through pouches so you can see what's in it and heavy duty zips. So these are the proper, proper thing to have. Um, this fit quite nicely on a Defender door. Um, I'm just gonna put that up there. And I'm gonna try and fit my old tidy thing there if I can. But just loading it up now with the teas, coffee, sugars. I'm going to put some utensils in there and then just general camp stuff. But it's accessible, it's at the door. Once I've zipped it all up, if it rains, it doesn't get wet, so ideal. Uh, and before anybody asks, these are from LVB Overland. So you've seen this stuff on, on here before. I'll try and remember to link it. If I don't, remind me. Right, so start now time to get something to eat got some fire get got the fire built up and everything now so yeah 10 minutes we can get a pan on the corner of it this is my little lighter array that i've just bodged together out of some bits out of the motor uh doesn't focus very well on that because it's uh here's what it is so yeah i might uh might make this a little bit better, but put it in one of them ammunition boxes, but realistically, they're mega expensive ammo boxes, that's all they are, is they're just an alarm battery, a switch and a charge port, and nothing, uh, nothing difficult. Uh, so, if you don't ever hear from me again, or this video doesn't get edited, I've pulled an old tin of beans out, I found a, a case of about 15 tins of beans in the Land Rover, that appear to have gone out of date a couple of years ago, so we're going to have them, see how bad they are. Can't see they've been any different, you can't make Tesco's beans any worse, can you? So, yeah, there we go. In these retro 80, so uh, Land Rover type brand, but nice enamel mugs. <sighs> Cheers, everyone. Soap as well, look. Fuck it, look. I thought that was for your phone. Baby wipe holder. Yeah, I'll demonstrate, Jay. Have a sit. <laughs> and the dog licks oh, it. Oh, I'm never going through that thing. Is Rich that... sat on it yesterday. What are you saying? What are you saying? Fat man proof. Choose your words carefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Is that... it comfy? 
It's a bit of a, an awkward thing to feel like you're going to have a poo on. <laughs> yeah, Try yeah. hovering over a hole, it's, it's equally as, <laughs> as uncomfortable. There's nothing wrong with my pallets. <laughs> They're handcrafted pallets. <laughs> who's who's going to be the first to sample it? We can get it on video. Needed, Every woods munching. I, I might go home for one, I'll be like an angry squid this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Them two years out of date beans weren't great. Oh dear. Is it fermenting? Can you cut one of them small enough to bite on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got a big cop. Memories for you carrying a battery around. I got my back, my back out, my back out too. I got a solo one and I got my, my misspent youth. What wrong you got then? Uh, I, 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 well, the use for your XP. Is it good? It's alright for this. You're taking a step back each time. Yeah, I'm trying to get the right angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm keeping roughly about the same pace. I go a little bit further. Can you do it again? Yes! Oh, Come on, now, now do the spunky intro. Mm -hmm. Spin round. Subscribe. Woohoo! 81 videos, you greedy bastard. Hey? 81 videos? Yeah, got one or two. Oh, you got a video. Sub share, subscribe, <laughs> sub like. Huh? Sub. Uh, Moscow Prefer. Sub share, I oh, know it's not that now. What? Uh, survival Russia. Sub share, subscribe, sub like. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, it tickles me every time. Ah, you're not it's the world's smallest sausages or the world's biggest pan. Mm. Who will know? <laughs> <laughs> Stayed with me. Balsamic vinegar, hal halloumi cheese, and mm. sesame seeds. Let's just stop midges getting here, they're the same. Oh, citronella. Oh, no, no, these were just meant to sprinkle them on the fire. And they just sent all sorts of weird rainbow colours of them. Straight for a knot. I'm supposed to sit there. I'm taking this lamp while I'm leaving and I'm taking this shitter. Take that dog with you as well. Let the people know your channel then. Uh, I've forgotten my own channel! <laughs> Wilderness Adventures UK. So check him out on YouTube, he's going to be doing a lot more work on this. So that's Wilderness Adventures UK, uh, new channel, so check it out. He's going to finish this off and he's uh, going to make a nice job of it. 
Hopefully. So, all colour coordinated and everything. So. That's not going to come for a couple of years, but yeah, we'll get there. We will get there.